Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. It's April 29th, 2015. Let's update our positions in the NBA, especially if you're a series prop better or a futures better. Right? In the East, the world has changed, hasn't it? Right? The most important series is about to take place. The Cleveland Cavaliers against the Chicago Bulls. That's the series I think is going to happen, right? Understand, though, that Kevin Love is now out for the playoffs. Do me a favor and wave goodbye to the Cavaliers. I thought the Cavaliers were a shoe-in to win the East. Without Kevin Love, ooh, it's going to be tough. More importantly, though, without Kevin Love, I don't believe LeBron James and company can win a title this year. They're certainly not going to beat whoever comes out of the West, whether that's Golden State or my own pick, the San Antonio Spurs. Right? So the Love loss is so major that understand Love is a major rebounder, right? He's a potential double-double. He's the kind of guy who offensively can hit three, so he's a nightmare matchup, right? If you have a four who isn't prepared to follow Love out to the three-point line, you're going to have problems. Now, immediately, you're losing Love, right? You're losing the boards, which is crucial for Cleveland, right? You're losing the boards. You're losing the three-point shooting on a team that statistically is not defensively blessed as it is. You're losing some height. Put me among those who believes Cleveland cannot beat the Warriors or the San Antonio Spurs. Let's shift gears, right? By the way, that Chicago series is now in play. I thought Cleveland was going to take it before. Now I'm not so sure. Proceed with caution even there. J.R. Smith suspended short term, right? Let's move to the Western Conference. Last night, the San Antonio Spurs, for the second time in this series, beat the Clippers in Los Angeles. Right, folks, in my opinion, that series is over. Right, I believe the Spurs move on. I know the opinion's a strong one. Hey, these are the calls I try to make in these videos. More importantly, though, if you think about how ultimately the West is going to play out, what I want you to do is to look at yesterday's box score carefully. In particular, I want you to look at the three-point shooting in yesterday's box score. The Los Angeles Clippers, a team with Jamal Crawford, a team with J.J. Redick, right? a team where Chris Paul can hit the three. Right? The Clippers took 14 threes yesterday. Keep in mind, in a game at home, where their shooters would be most at home, right? most accustomed. And they hit one three out of 14 attempts. Let's do the math. That's 7% from three-point range. Now, if you believe, as I do, that San Antonio's perimeter defense, right? Guys like Cowie Leonard guarding people out on the perimeter had a lot to do with the Clippers' poor three-point shooting performance. Then I want you to tell me the level of confidence you have in Clay Thompson shooting from the outside should the Spurs eventually match up with the Golden State Warriors. I'll be blunt. I'm not a believer in the Houston Rockets, right? I'm just not, right? I'll be blunt. Memphis's shooting scares the daylights out of me and not in a positive way, right? They don't have the range that San Antonio and the Golden State Warriors have, right? San Antonio, the sixth seed, is where they want to be with a 3-2 lead going into a home game that could decide the series. 
right? San Antonio are the defending champs. They've been to the last two NBA Finals. I got to tell you, the more I look at them, the more I believe this might be the team to be. I love Golden State. Don't get me wrong. But understand the big in Golden State is Andrew Bogut. Right now, Bogut statistically is excellent defensively. Right? Bogut isn't that good at the free throw line. Right? We're seeing the problems that's causing DeAndre Jordan and the Clippers against San Antonio, aren't we? Right? Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, the Splash Brothers, I'll say this. I think Clay Thompson can be made to disappear in big games. Right? Curry's a little bit harder. But if you slow down half of the Splash Brothers, aren't you causing problems for the Warriors? Right? Defensively, who is David Lee going to stick? Right? Look at the defensive numbers. I know the Warriors are excellent defensively. Right? I would argue that David Lee is a defensive liability on the court. I would argue that the Spurs are also an elite defensive team. They proved it last night with their perimeter defense against the Los Angeles Clippers, didn't they? So right now, of all the teams out there, especially after watching one seed Atlanta struggle with Brooklyn, right? Of all the teams out there, in the East, my eye is on the Cavalier Bull Series. I think the winner of that series wins the Eastern Conference. Right? I understand the Wizards are making noise. Let's just say it's not reassuring. When I hear Paul Pierce question whether John Wall and Bradley Beal want it badly enough, right? that's not reassuring. Right? I think the winner of the Cavs Bull Series wins the East. Out West, let's just say I'm not a believer in the two seed, Houston. Right. And quite frankly, I do think it's ultimately going to come down to San Antonio versus the Golden State Warriors. Now, I'm not in the habit of taking first time coaches against Greg Popovich. Right. To me, new and shiny means inexperienced. Right. These are heights the Warriors haven't been recently. Right. I don't care if they did win more than 65 games. I'm going to go with what I know. The team that, quite frankly, should have beaten the Heat two years ago. Gave away Game 6. Then, of course, they come back the very next year, blow out the Heat so thoroughly, LeBron James is now in a different state. Right? The San Antonio Spurs right now are my pick to come out of the West. Let's just say, in my opinion, the NBA comes down to four teams. Cavs Bulls in the East, Spurs Warriors in the West. That's how I see it. Let's have a discussion. This is YouTube. Let's be interactive here. You tell me how you see it. If you believe Memphis, which looks like they're already by Portland, but understand Memphis has owned Portland, especially during the regular season. If Memphis gets to the next round and you believe in their half-court brand of basketball, right? I'll concede Marcus Gasol's as good as anybody in the paint, right? I'll concede Zach Randolph can be a beast at times, right? If you believe Memphis deserves more attention, if you believe Dwight Howard, former Defensive Player of the Year, coupled with James Harden, one of the front runners for the NBA MVP, are bringing a lot to the party. Let's talk about the Houston Rockets. I think that Patrick Beverly uh, injury is bigger than we think. If you buy into Kyle Korver, Al Horford, and what the Atlanta Hawks, who did run away with the Eastern Conference in the regular season, are bringing to the table, and you want to talk about them, or you want to talk about John Wall, Bradley Beal, Gortat, the powers that beat Paul Pierce, with the Washington Wizards, I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Okay, looking forward to the dialogue. Thanks for stopping by. You know the four teams I like. If I had to pick one team today to win the NBA title, 
I'd have to pick the defending champion, San Antonio Spurs. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.